Hello dear children, very good morning. We have started with chapter number 14 and lesson 4. I have completed a half part of page number 34. Today we are going to continue the next half part. Here in this chapter it was about some characters were there. In this chapter, the lesson 4. Uh, newspaper boy, milkman, hawker, school bus driver, Dr. Savant, Mrs. Patel, a housewife and some animals and some more person were there and they were talking about the street which was full with garbage and Madhu fell down she got hurt on her foot and it was bleeding so we are going to continue Dr. Savant what presence of mind good applies ice on the wound there now it has stopped bleeding it's a deep cut. I'll dress the wound and she'll be fine. Now Dr. Savant, she came with a bag and she told, very good, he applied ice on the wound and now the wound which was bleeding, it has stopped bleeding but it's a deep cut. Deep means too much inside the cut was there because glass, it was a glass which hurted her, a piece of glass and she had dressed with that wound and she said she'll be all right she'll be fine okay mrs zoshi thank you doctor so kind of you to come at once now mrs zoshi is she's thanking the doctor and she told thank you why because she came at once but i'm going to complain to the mayor have you seen the rubbish and the litter on the road now mrs zoshi is telling I'm going to go to the mayor and I'm going to complain him because of this rubbish which is lit on the road, all this rubbish and litter. Okay, my dear children, rubbish means all this dust, dirt and all that with uh, tins and all that and this litters, the papers. Dr. Savant, oh, it's a mystery. All this garbage was not there yesterday and now just look. When Dr. Savant is telling, yesterday, there was not a single piece of dirt or something which was fallen over there. And now just see. Too much garbage. Who has thrown that? Enter the newspaper boy, milkman, hawker, etc. Now the newspaper boy, he came. The milkman came as well as the hawker. He came to sell the vegetables. Mrs. Patel, the mayor must not have seen. Look, the newspaper boy, he is limping. Now over here, the mayor, Mrs. Patel is telling, the mayor must have not seen all this dirt over here. All this garbage which is thrown over here. See the newspaper boy who is coming. He is limping, means he is walking very slowly or with difficulty because his leg was, or foot was injured, I think so. And the milkman at last, even the milkman had came. To the milkman, why, where's your bicycle and why are you so late? Now, Mrs. Patel is telling, where's your bicycle and why are you so late today? Milkman, the tires were punctured. He said my cycle tire was punctured. I had to come walking all the way with this heavy milk can. He's telling the tires were punctured and I had to come walking all the way from my house to your house with this heavy milk can. Newspaper boy. And I tripped over an old tire and sprained my foot. He's telling I tripped over. I tripped means I lost my balance after knocking your foot against something when you were walking. I tripped means something hurt it to the foot and he fell on that. Okay. Over the old tire. Then he fell on which? On what? The old tire which was thrown over there. And sprained. Sprain means caused an injury to a joint in the body by a sudden movement. And sprained my foot. It was quite dark early this morning. It was too much dark. I did not accept an old tire right in the middle of the road. And the newspaper boy still I did not thought. 
there is a tire which is thrown in the middle of the road and i would fall down and hurt my foot mr desai i see something must be done and mr desai says oh something must be done over here bus driver enters carefully avoiding the litter you can see on page number 35 see how the bus is coming he is entering very carefully the litter is all over their thrown just see my dear children see the bus how is coming see the litter see the bottles tins cartons huh? litter is all there just see how is coming from that see it carefully bus driver mrs joshi mrs joshi i'm sorry i can't ride the school bus today now bus driver said mrs joshi mrs joshi i'm sorry i can't ride the school bus today why but on every road and street there's nothing but litter on every road and street there's nothing but only litter means that garbage which is thrown here and there it looks like an obstacle race of race course it looks obstacle race course means a race in which runners have to climb over okay it looks like an obstacle race course means what what does obstacle race course means okay a race in which runners have to climb over under or through a series of obstacles through many difficulties it has to go mrs joshi i know i am going to send for the mayor at once mrs joshi is telling okay i know that we all are facing the same difficulty and we have to go and fetch the mayor at once we have to go and call him he must see this he must see all this what is thrown on the road our children are not safe with all these dangerous broken objects around mrs joshi is telling our children not safe over here why because all these litters which are thrown over here anyone can get hurt all these broken objects which are thrown over here hoko No one is safe. Let's request the mayor to come and see for himself. Now the hawker which is coming, even he told, no one is safe. Now we, how can we come and sell vegetables over here or any fruits, whatever it is? Or the bus, the milkman, the newspaper boy, no one can come over here because all the litter is there, all that garbage is thrown. Anyone can get, get hurt, anyone can trip down. So no one is safe. Let's request the mayor to come and see for himself. Mr. Desai, I'll fetch him. Mr. Desai says, I'll fetch him means to get someone or something. And exit. Exit means he goes from there. I'll go and find out where he is. Enters again with the mayor and his retinue. Enters now. Who comes? The mayor with his retinue. Retinue means a group of helpers and followers. Okay. retinue means a group of helpers and followers who travel with an important person so there are some person who came with the mayor over there mayor even he was angry annoyed he became very angry unbelievable he said shocking how do you expect people to walk through all this rubbish now even when he saw he was shocked he told never have seen all this garbage over here how will people walk on this rubbish why don't you all dispose of the garbage properly and he started shouting at those people who were staying over there he said how do you stay over here and how this garbage has come why don't you throw all this garbage properly in your dustbins dispose means to get rid of something why don't you all dispose to get rid of something of the garbage properly why don't you put your garbage properly in your own dustbins mrs patel but we we do mrs patel said we put uh, 
garbage in our dustbins. Mr. Mayor, we will give our garbage to the garbage collector. Mrs. Patel says, we do this and we give our garbage to the garbage collector who comes and collects the garbage. We give it to them. Mrs. Zoshi, yes, we don't litter our streets like this. Even Mrs. Zoshi is telling, we don't throw all this litter and we don't make all this rubbish thrown near our house. We don't like it. Mr. Desai, oh, we take it to the dumping ground near the river. Mr. Desai is telling, we take it to the dumping ground. What is the dumping ground? A place where something unwanted is left. Where we throw something, where no one stays. We throw all that rubbish or garbage over there. It is near the river. Oh, we take it to the dumping ground near the river side, away from here. The rains then wash it away. Then the rains wash it and throw it into that river. All this rubbish goes into the river. Mrs. Patel, or the winds blow it away. Or what happens? The winds take all that garbage from here to there. Mayor, then how did it come back into the town overnight? Then the mayor is telling, how this all garbage came over here? In this night, from overnight, Ratri Saka Zali and Ratri Rata Pant he katra kutu nala mungu. Bus driver, that's problem. Nobody knows how it got over here. It's a mystery. No? Even the bus driver is telling, that's the problem. Nobody knows. How this rubbish has come over here? It's really a mystery. No one knows. We all are searching for that. Who threw all this garbage? Newspaper boy, it looks like someone has done it purposely to spoil our town. Now the newspaper boy is telling, really, I think so, that someone must have done it purposely. Zan Bujun ke lila sal. Karan, he aap lagao, aap prashar sangla disal no ke, ghan disal bhai je, manun. So someone must have done it purposely to spoil our town. Mrs. Zoshi and endanger our children. Now Mrs. Zoshi and endanger, endanger means to put someone in danger of being harmed. Now over here Mrs. Zoshi's daughter got hurt on the foot. And so she's telling endanger our children. It is danger for our children who are staying over here. My daughter got hurt, she's telling. Milkman and hinder a daily work. Milkman is telling. Hinder means what? To limit the ability of someone to do something. Who must have done this? How wrongly has done this? Okay, to limit the ability. Zan Buzun Kuni Kelan Kunatras De Sakami. We should limit all this. No one should do all this rubbish over here. So my dear children, the next half part we will go for tomorrow. Thank you. Stay home, stay safe. Till that time we read the chapter, my dear children.